Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are kicking off our summer sourdough series and we are really happy to share our first recipe, which is slow cooker sourdough bread. Yes, you heard that right. We are gonna show you how to bake a delicious loaf of sourdough bread in your slow cooker. And that way you don't have to worry about turning your oven on in an already extremely hot kitchen, but still be able to use your sourdough and enjoy sourdough bread all summer long. So if you want to learn how to use your slow cooker to cook a delicious loaf of sourdough bread, stay tuned and let's get started. We test all of our recipes in a 68 degree temperature kitchen. That is important to note because depending on the temperature of your kitchen, you will want to adjust the rising times during the first and second rise. If your kitchen is colder than 68 degrees Fahrenheit, then you will want to extend those rising times. And if your kitchen is warmer than 68 degrees, you're gonna have to shorten those. So this might be something that you need to um, do a little trial and error with and kind of figure out what's the best time in your environment. Feed your sourdough starter about 12 hours before you're uh, ready to mix your dough and that way it's nice and active and bubbly. Mix that with the water, the salt, the bread flour, and the whole wheat flour. Mix that all together in the bowl until there's no dry bits left in the bowl. Cover it and let it rest at room temperature for one hour. Now you're going to perform three sets of stretches and folds 30 minutes apart. To do a set, simply wet your hand with a little water to prevent the dough from sticking to it. Pick up the dough on one side, lift it up and fold it over itself. Turn the bowl a quarter turn and just repeat this until you've turned that bowl all the way around. Cover it and let it rest for 30 minutes until the next set. Once you have performed the third set of stretches and folds, cover the bowl and let it rest for two hours. Again, adjusting for your kitchen's temperature. After the two hours is up, you'll want to do the final shape on the dough. I do an initial shape where you turn the dough out onto the countertop, do a rough shape, let it sit for 20 minutes covered, and then do the final shape. Now, you can shape your dough into an oval shape or into a round shape. Either one's gonna work. If you have a round slow cooker, your dough will bake in a round shape, regardless of how you shaped it in the bowl. So after the uh, dough has been shaped, cover it and let that sit at room temperature for one to one and a half hours. Then you are going to transfer this to your slow cooker. Turn the dough out onto a piece of parchment paper and then gently lower that into your slow cooker, put the cover on, and then turn the slow cooker on high. Now let that bake in the slow cooker for one hour. Then you're going to remove the lid and place a towel over the top and then put the lid back on. You don't want the towel touching the dough. You basically want any moisture that's, that's coming up to the top of the lid, that's sticking to the lid, you want that to stick to the towel. And that way that moisture doesn't fall back onto your bread later and cause it to be soggy. So that's the point of putting that towel over the slow cooker at that point. Let the bread bake for one more hour at high temperature, remove the lid and check to see if it's done. So I take a digital food thermometer and check the internal temperature of the bread and it should read at least 200 degrees. Once it's um, ready, take it out and put it onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely before you slice it. Now, don't forget that this is being baked in a slow cooker. So you're not gonna have the heat like you would from an oven. 
which means that the bread is gonna be done, it's gonna be baked, but the crust is not gonna have a browned, charred look to it. It's going to be soft. So with that in mind, I have a lot of people that try to get a softer crust on their sourdough. So this might be something that you would want to try because the crust does stay extremely soft. Now, it's very easy to slice. It, it's delicious. And it's, again, it's just like regular sourdough bread, but baked in a slow cooker. So I really hope you guys love this bread. We are so excited about this because I know that we're gonna want to eat sourdough, you know, all year long. And this will give you that way to, to be able to do that. So anyway, I hope that you love this recipe as much as we do. And until next time, bye.